Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Colossus and Koda speaking and welcome to the next 5 minute review more or less of a game called Escape from Tethys. Uh, you're trapped alone and cold on a distant planet pursued by a droid with only one purpose, killing everything. You must find and escape, explore the hostile environment, find a secret upgrades and new weapons and finally make your escape from this dark hostile planet. Released July 12, 2018. Developer and publisher by Whimsical, and yes, that's what the little blurb says. You must find and escape. Uh, I'm assuming what it's talking about is the power-ups that you find throughout the playthrough uh, when it comes to like double jumping or dashing, as well as health upgrades and uh, sub-weapon upgrades. Uh, I actually love this game. It like. The 100% playthrough, uh, which also includes uh, being everywhere in the game, uh, it took me about 5 hours to do, so for me it was just one stream, and again, I loved it. The game is a metroidvania, so obviously you need to find certain upgrades in order to move on to the next section. Uh, I did not think the game was very difficult, and neither was the game anywhere near as glitchy but as castle in the darkness that being said i did find some of some glitches or some things that just shouldn't be there like for instance when i was uh tabbing out in order to find out what else i was missing in the game for some reason when i went back into the game i could no longer press start so i couldn't look at my map anymore um as well as sometimes I just could not um, change sub weapons, so I couldn't change from like a grenade to just a little charger beam, which I found extremely weird. Uh, another thing that I did find was being able to escape through the map and just sort of getting stuck because you weren't supposed to be there, so that was kind of funny, but. The game will definitely not affect you very much because there are obviously uh, save points that you can use pretty much everywhere. There's also a teleportation system that you can use in order to um, get to places faster. Um, the the game does not have music per se. It's more like atmospheric music, which I thought was really good. It was really nice to listen to, as well as uh, just the platforming in general was really nice. The enemies that you deal with is really cool, mainly because there's one sub-weapon that you can pick up that would basically destroy the entire game, I guess you can say, to the point where you no longer even have to worry about anyone, um, like anyone or anything bothering you if you know how to use a weapon I guess you could say I don't want to go into spoiler territory so um, not much said about this game to be honest just the platforming is good the amount of power-ups and things that you can do throughout the game is really awesome um, due to the fact that how short the game is is also really nice the game is worth uh, $4.99 I would definitely say it's worth the price considering the amount of things that you can do in the game I did not find the game very difficult it does have a easy and normal difficulty as well as three different save files that you can use and the bosses were really cool even though you fight one multiple times um, just in general I just thought the game was really good i hope you give this game a try if at any point you get to get it uh for any reason i'm pretty sure when i received this game it was either through a humble bundle or free on steam i can't really remember which but either way the game is worth it and considering the fact that it was released 2018 you'll most likely be able to find it on a discount um, sooner than later but yeah if, if for whatever reason you enjoy just searching around through a game and uh, pretty much being OP if you have found the right power-ups you'll definitely enjoy this game give it a try uh, hope this review helped you in some way again not much to say it's just 
definitely recommended, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Take care.